Having visual systems is key to everything that we do in construction. It's absolutely crucial. The reason is because we need total participation. That means we want everybody participating on our project sites with us in a remarkable manner. We have learned through lean teachings and lean tools and lean philosophy that the elimination of waste and continuous improvement and things like flow and learning are an integral part of lean theory. But one of the things that we constantly leave off is respect for people and then total participation. Respect for people really means that we respect people at a fundamental level where they are. We respect the nature of people. That's not what we're talking about in this video, but in order to continue that culture of respect, we need to engage a project site with what's called total participation. And this is because if everybody on the project site doesn't know how to interact with the project planner, know where the project is going or what they're supposed to be doing or who they're supposed to be working with, and the plan isn't clear, and the plan is in somebody's head, like maybe the superintendent, then you'll have people that are frustrated asking questions like, I don't really know what's going on. There will be people that are quite frankly angry and disappointed. They're losing money and they're like, hey, show me the path. And this is not what we want for our projects. And that's not what lean builders do. And so the goal is to see as a group know as a group and act as a group. This is one of my favorite sayings when it comes to lean construction. So write this down if you have an opportunity. See as a group, that means everybody sees the plan. Know as a group, that means everybody knows what the plan is and can follow it that day. And then act as a group, that means that everybody can act in synergy, in unison, and that there really isn't any wasted time, meaning we're not wasting people's time, we're not wasting people's money, we're all working together, and we're acting as a legitimate team. And that's really a, a really a good a culture of respect. And so we've all seen the typical huddle boards, the open uh, office spaces with huddles and visuals on the walls. We've seen examples of metrics, of pull planning. We've seen some remarkable examples lately of visual communication so that we can encourage and support this culture of total participation. And I will say that without these types of environments, without visuals, we can't get people on the same page. And so I wanted to showcase here in this visual up to the top right, how do we get people on the same page? How do we get total participation? How do we make sure that everybody can see as a group, know as a group, and act as a group? Well, that happens when everything is organized. And when I say everything, let's get more specific. I mean our visual systems, the plan. Everyone knows the same plan and the plan has been communicated to them in a remarkable manner so everybody's on the same page even the signage on site uh, is a visual system that will get everybody on the same page and then things like worker huddles foreman huddles huddles that get everybody to a same under or a similar understanding of that plan in those visual systems it's quite remarkable and to uh, kind of uh, anchor this home i want to say how much of the plan does everybody understand on the site? How much, how much by percentage does the PM understand? How much does the superintendent understand? What about the PEs, the foreman, the lead persons, the crews, anybody that might be entry level on the site? If those numbers, as you see in the graph, are low, it is our job to increase the percentage of understanding at every single level of the project, every position. What if we were able to get that understanding of the plan daily higher for the foreman. What if it was up at 80%? What if the crews, the workers, even new people on site, maybe even laborers on the project site, what if they knew 40, 50, 60, 70% of the plan? How much more effective would we be? How much more respect, respected would they feel? And how much better off would the project be for the owner in, in our effort to create raving fans? And so the point is, you know, we can't just have the plan in somebody's head. That is not the measure of success. We want what's shown down here at the bottom, a plan that everyone can see through visual systems. And to be more specific, as I close this video out, uh, in order, if you want to be on the same page, then get your schedule on one page, right? Uh, use tact planning where you can see trade flow, workflow, buffers, and the end date. Uh, if you want to get everybody into a system, a visual system of total participation, use huddle boards in the last planner system. 
right? See the plan for the next week or the day. And then obviously let's make sure that we have great wayfinding signage that everybody knows how to interact with that site because we have remarkable signage on site. So the point is uh, we really get a wonderful opportunity to have people see as a group, know as a group, and act as a group with visual systems. And so my challenge to you in order to plan it first, build it right, and finish as you go, a key part of building it right is building it together with visual systems. I hope you've enjoyed this video. On we go.